Sorry for the interruption, but you know you want to do a podcast, don't you? It is not hard. Just go to Spotify for podcasters, download the app, just use your phone. You don't need any fancy dancy equipment and let your voice be heard. Everyone has something to say. You too. And you never know. You never know what heart you are going to touch with your inspiration. What a difference a day makes with the saints. So yesterday, St. Augustine, I share that he is my patron saint, even though the little flower is the one that is actually my patron saint for my confirmation. But when I look at who I relate to the most, it's St. Augustine. Because I lived that pleasure-seeking life. I believed what the evil one said would make me happy. So buy a lot of stuff, climb the corporate ladder for me at least. That's where I was gaining my prestige and my quote-unquote power. And then I was seeking pleasure and ways to change my state of being all the time. And then today... We've got St. John, who from the very beginning in Elizabeth's womb leaped for joy when Mary walked into Elizabeth's house, and it was already happening. St. John was filled with grace and then (laughs) lived a completely different life than St. Augustine, lived out in the woods eating wild locusts and honey, or wild honey and locusts, however you want to look at it, he was the complete opposite of St. Augustine. The point that I really wanted to say was that all of us are somewhere between St. Augustine and St. John. I am striving to be more like St. John every day, girding my loins, if you will, and trying to show everyone around me by my witness that I do have self-control, that I can say no when it comes to things like pleasure. So some of you may be asking or thinking to yourself, Well, Kendra, did you have sour cream last night or what did you do? Well, first, I committed to working out and I wanted to do that before I ate anything. And I did. I was actually commenting on a YouTube video and Cherie, you're out there. I was communicating with you and I was using it as an excuse not to go out and walk. But I did. And I went walking for two hours. And it was amazing. It felt good to get the body moving. I came back home. I was relaxed. I was a little bit of sweat had built up, but I felt okay. I wasn't pushing myself too much. Then I had, oddly enough, listen to this, everyone. I had a cup of coffee with my heavy whipping cream with butter with the MCT oil, with my vanilla and my cinnamon, all stirred up. I put some other stuff in there, some collagen, some other HMB powder, which helps me keep my muscle. Anyway, I made this whole big concoction and I barely had but three or four gulps. It didn't taste good. It tasted kind of, I don't know, sour, maybe even a little metallic to me. So I'm laughing at how much I poured into this thing because it was going to be my after workout sort of drink, but I didn't really drink it. Later on that night, I cooked what must have been the biggest chicken breasts I've ever seen. These were not pasture-raised chicken breasts. These were the cheap things that I got at the grocery store. I think it was 79 cents a pound. 
These things were ridiculous how big they were. But we split one in half and we put it on a salad and that was what I had last night. That's it. I wanted to just from mere repetition, I wanted to have a little thing of sour cream, but I didn't because I thought of you, because I thought of my husband, as you know, I mentioned yesterday, we've got to have accountability partners in our life. Even if it's digitally, go out on my YouTube channel, go to my other social media and let's chat. Let's hold each other accountable. Let's put in comments to say, oh, aha, I'm going to work on that with you, Kendra. By the way, there was something that came my way asking a question about the consecration to Jesus through Mary. I'm going to put a link in the description where you can read up on the consecration because I, it really is just that. It is an every single day step-by-step -step prayer in a book that you buy. Actually, in this link, there's an audible and there's a PDF download with all of the supplemental readings. So it's all free for you, but it is the true devotion to Mary. It's the St. Louis de Montfort version. And I'm telling you, people, listen to me, please. It's, it's hard. It's a time commitment. It is something that if you start it, you're going to be upset if you don't finish it because it is intense and it is deep. And if you're not willing to go that deep that fast, then definitely look at Father Michael Gately's 33 Days to Morning Glory and or search out there for other Catholic consecrations to Jesus through Mary. We're not really consecrating ourselves to Mary. We're consecrating ourselves to Jesus through Mary. Okay? So just check out the link in this description. It should help you out. And to that person, I'm going to also send you the link in Facebook because that's where you reached out to ask for more information. And it's all going to start on September 4th because... Ideally, you want to end your consecration on a Marian feast day. So it will end on October 7th, this year, 2023, and we can all pray and all put ourselves in Mary's beautiful arms as she lays us next to Jesus's sacred heart. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, Holy Spirit, we all are in such different places of our journey. Yet, at the same time, we all need your grace. And we all need your help so that we can be more like St. John. So that we can be more like St. Augustine. As we travel down this narrow path with you, realizing how we were lied to, how many times we fell for the evil one, the father of lies. When will we get it, Lord? When will we get it? We ask for you to connect those dots for us so that we too can feel energized and joyful for where we are on this journey, where we can accept ourselves and love ourselves no matter where we are. And Lord, please help us to pay attention, to pay attention and be conscious about things that are happening to us in our life right now. Is the evil one attacking us? Who is speaking to us in our minds? Help us to discern spirit so that we know which voice to follow, so that we always do your will. In your name, Jesus, 
We pray, amen, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Oh, big deep breath. Everyone, think about it. We are on an amazing adventure. Like every day, we should be looking and ex be excited to seek out God in our life. What are you going to do in my life today, God? How are you going to show up in a big way that makes me amazed and shocked to see you appearing in my life? That's what I want for all of you today, is to think about the wide range of St. John the Baptist and St. Augustine. I couldn't be farther away from St. John the Baptist, in my humble opinion. But that's who I'm asking and praying to, to help me so that I can be different, so that people can look at me eating wild honey and locusts and living out in the woods. <laughs> you know, maybe that's what I'll be doing when I'm in Tennessee. You never know. All right, everyone. I love you all. Go find something more with God today. Find that temperance. Find that joy. Find that zeal for life. Change your state of being. And please, if you have tried the meditation, please put a comment in the YouTube Soul, Mind, and Body membership group. I'm curious about how it is helping you reprogram your subconscious programming. Are you coming out of that prayer a different person? Because that's the intent. I'm really curious. And if you're like, well, where can I find that prayer? Just go to YouTube, sign up, hit, click the join button, and just sign up. $4.99 a month. And voila, there's already a mental prayer meditation out there. And now there's this personal prayer meditation. Okay, have a blessed and inspired day.